Well, after three years behind bars, a Waco immigrant detainee will finally get her day in court. Estella Fajardo is on trial for felony theft, and the mother of four also faces deportation. Yeah, Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell is live outside the McLennan County Courthouse, where immigrants' rights activists rallied to show support for Fajardo today. Hi, Jasmine. Well, Chris and Leslie, this case has a lot of different layers to it, but the testimony we will hear will only have to do with Fajardo's felony theft case. Now, her attorney told me that she's accused of buying stolen merchandise, but as a potential jury was being selected today, a group of support of her supporters were outside the courthouse rallying to keep her in the United States. They say Fajardo moved to McLennan County after escaping a violent life in Mexico 30 years ago. Her immigration attorney says a guilty verdict verdict in this case will be detrimental to her deportation case. And uh, she asked ICE to rescind an old reinstatement of removal to keep Fajardo uh, with her family. And her family said they have mixed emotions about this case. There's still a little bit of apprehension, you know, just wondering. Uh, you know, basically our, our family's fate is in the hands of uh, jurors, you know, and how a situation is presented to them. And so... Uh, you know, like with anything, there, there's a little, a little nervousness, but also a, a lot of relief as well because we've been waiting for so long. Fajardo's case started to get attention last year when the Waco Immigrants Alliance said that Fajardo filed a lawsuit against LaSalle Corrections. She claimed a guard at the Jack Harwell Detention Center sexually abused her. She also claimed the jail denied her medications. The McLennan County Sheriff's Department said they conducted an investigation and determined that the claim wasn't true. Now, testimony into the theft case will pick up tomorrow uh, morning around 9 o'clock. Fajardo's immigration attorney said whether or not she if she wins this case or if she loses this case it really won't matter because ICE will still be able to take her into custody and deport her to Mexico right after the trial is over um, unless the uh, a Waco I'm sorry an immigration judge um, picks up on this case reporting live in Waco Jasmine Caldwell Channel 6 News